So I definitely would recommend Hey. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I don't really know about an overall theme this week. I mean, maybe kind of girly, a little bit warm toned, somewhere in that sort of family. Um, tried out a lot of new things this week and have some definite favorites. I don't really think I have any kind of old favorites. All my favorites look like they're new pretty much. So at least new to me. So yeah, got some fun things to chat about. So let's get to it. So I don't feel like I've like fully, fully dived into this palette, but I did play with it a little bit this week and I really enjoyed it, but I do want to keep playing with it more. Um, but it's really nice quality and super duper cute. This is the Tarte Love Trust and Fairy Dust eyeshadow palette. This is what the outside sleeve looks like. I mean, even that is beautiful and girly and sparkly and makes me happy. And then the actual palette itself, I mean, you can't not smile when you look at this palette, right? It is so happy. I love it. It's like a Barbie eyeshadow palette or something. So I love the packaging, but then I've been really impressed with the quality of the shadows inside. This highlighter is really pretty. The mattes are really nice and easy to blend. The sparkly shades are beautiful. So I haven't played with every color on my eyes yet, but what I have played with, I am super impressed with. Easy to blend, wears well. Just a very, um, I mean, I already said it, just a really easy formula to work with. It's not like you have to be super duper delicate with it. Um, it's not like you really have to work hard to build it up. It's just a very nice, easy to work with shadow formula. So yeah, so play around with it a little bit this week, enough to know that I really like it. Obviously love the packaging, but I really like the quality of it, but I do wanna play with it more because I wanna keep playing with it. I also played around with this palette this week and I am actually really impressed with this little palette. This is new from Maybelline. This is the Soda Pop palette and look how cute it is. I mean, it's just like a happy, um, warm toned, purpley sort of a palette. Like that's really overall the theme to it. So, I mean, you could definitely get a lot of neutral looks with this palette, but also you've got some fun colors in here and even that orangey shade to play with. Really impressed with the mattes in here. I find them really pigmented, but also easy to work with. I think this orangey shade is beautiful. I think this um, kind of plummy purple is a really good formula because these sorts of colors across lots of brands, a lot of times seem to be really gritty and just hard, like hard and gritty feeling in texture. And this one is really nice and buttery and just a really nice texture to it. I love this one right here. This is beautiful. I have this on my lower lash line. So pretty. And then I love this one right here. Now this one is kind of a loosely packed sort of a shimmery shade. So I definitely would recommend, hey, I definitely would recommend, <laughs> I'm so strange, using it with some kind of a setting spray because I went to use it on, well, I used it on both eyes with the setting spray, but this one I went to use it and I missed my brush apparently when I sprayed to try to wet my brush. That happens a lot. I like will go to spray it and I'm like, a foot off or something. So apparently that happened because when I went to use it on my eyes, I did have some fallout. So I would definitely use it with a setting spray. What am I doing here? I'm swatching for you. So yes, I would use a setting spray with that. But I mean, these mattes are really nice. I mean, I don't have any complaints about them, really. Uh, I would say they're, I mean, maybe a little bit soft, but not not like crazy soft, like you have to be super duper delicate with them. So I don't find that the mattes really take any kind of extra work. I think they're a great formula. Just the shimmery shades, I would go ahead and use them with some kind of a setting spray, particularly like this one, the ones that are a little bit more loosely packed, but look how pretty that is. And it's really pretty on the eyes. I didn't find fading issues with these shadows. So I'm super impressed with this palette, like super duper impressed. I really, really love it. So might do a video on it. I don't know, like a review slash tutorial type video, something like that, because I really like this little palette.
nailed it. I also wanted to mention these two liners. I used these this week and really enjoyed them. They're very nice quality. These are the Mally Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liners. This one is in Dark Chocolate and this one is in Lucky Penny. So I actually have both of these on today. I started with Lucky Penny and then wanted just a little bit more darkness and definition on my upper lash line, especially like in the outer corner. So then I use the dark chocolate color, but these are super creamy and just, I mean, glide on. So they don't tug on your eyes, but then they set down and they wear very well. So that's what I'm looking for in a liner where it doesn't tug at your eyes, but then you get that longevity with it. So really nice formula on these. Lucky Penny is more of a like dark chocolatey bronzy color, but it's on the darker side of a bronze. Really, really pretty. And then, um, did I say Lucky Penny? Yeah, this one's Lucky Penny. And then this one, um, Dark Chocolate, is more of like a true chocolate brown. It's really, really pretty. So they're gorgeous individually, but really pretty together also. So I love them. I think they are very nice quality liners that are just a pretty color. And I think they pair nicely with these warm tones from the Soda Pop palette. I played around with a couple things that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. And one of them is this blush right here. This is from Pixie. This is the Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose. Now, I went to look this up online the other day and I couldn't find this specific color by itself. So I'm not sure if it was an Ipsy exclusive. I don't really know, but I will try again because I really, really like it and wanted to mention it to you because I think it's a great blush. It's one of those easy, one and done blush bronzery type of blushes because it is a blush bronzery sort of color. It's like right in between. It's a overall matte, looks matte to me, and it is kind of like a rosy, bronzy sort of a color. So literally right in between. So it gives you that nice kind of definition to your cheeks, but also a really pretty color. I do have a highlight on I'm about to mention to you. And I also do have a bronzer on, but I did wear it by itself this week and it just, it works that way. So if you are trying to get out the door, you want that one and done step, or you just don't want to wear like 15 makeup products on your face. If you just want to, you know, wear more minimal makeup or just less makeup, this is a great product for that. Cause it's kind of a, you know, two in one sort of a product. It blends well, it wears well, it is pigmented. Like I have found, I like to apply this and kind of like stipple it on, which is a little bit different. Normally I don't do that. Normally I kind of like, you know, apply my blush. Well, I apply my blush more like this. I apply my contour more like this. So normally I do this with my blush, but I found I like to kind of like stamp this one on. I don't know why. I'm not really sure why I ended up liking to apply it that way better, but that's how I applied it. And I thought it looked really pretty on the skin. Again, that definition, but just some color to the cheeks, blush bronzery sort of thing. You get the idea. And then this highlighter that I have on, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Look how it catches the light. It is so pretty. So I got this in my Ipsy bag. This is by Ciate London. This is the Glow 2 Highlighter Illuminating Powder Highlighter. Now, I love getting tiny little makeup products. I love tiny little makeup products, but I wish that they would put them in little individual packaging, like put it in its own thing. I don't like it when they come in these little plasticky things. So don't really like that, but I mean, I don't think you can even, I don't know if this comes where you can purchase it in a smaller size. I think it was just like they did a smaller size for Ipsy. So anywho, I think you have to buy the full size, but it's a beautiful highlighter. I'm not mad about it because it's gorgeous. I love it. I would just change the little tiny packaging. That's just a little side note. Okay, this is in the shade Moon Dust, and there it is. So it's a little bit hard to describe, but I would describe this as overall kind of like a champagne rose gold kind of a color. And I say that because a lot of times rose gold highlighters are a little bit too deep for me, and I really have a hard time working with them and making them work on my skin tone. This one, because it's kind of on the lighter side and it's got that like champagne mix to it, really works. And I mean, look at that. Is that not beautiful? It is so pretty and I do feel like it's kind of a unique color because it's on that lighter side. It's a little bit pinky, a little bit champagne, a little bit rose gold, 
it's amazing, but it is intense. I mean, this is one of those highlighters you really have to like intense highlighters. I mean, you can kind of buff it out a little bit, but it's never gonna be super subtle. It is more of that metallic intense highlighter, but I didn't notice it really accentuating texture or um, being hard to blend or anything like that. So easy to work with, beautiful, unique color, really just so pretty. So I was really excited to get this in my Ipsy bag. I really, really like it. It's a great highlighter. And last favorite for the week for lips, I was loving this gloss. I actually tried a couple of these glosses, but this is the one that I wore the most. And I'm just so impressed with this formula in general. This is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss. Now this is in the shade Beauty Queen. This is what I'm wearing right now. So I got this in this set. I don't know if this is a color you can buy individually. I'm not really sure, but I got this set on HSN. If it's in stock or if I'm able to link it for you somehow, I will link it. I think it's maybe sold out. So I don't know or if I can find it somewhere else, I'll link it for you. Um, but this is the Alter Ego Gorgeous Gloss Collection. And I assume number one, this set was literally like, I think like $26 for all of these. So I don't even know how that happened but I ordered it real quick because that was an amazing deal. So I did try the red, I really liked the red, but I wore this one a lot this week. And I'm just, like I said, really impressed with the formula of this gloss. Oh my goodness, it is really, really nice. It's very pigmented. So if you're looking for a more sheer gloss, this is not it. This is more of Oh, I, I hesitate to use the word lip lacquer, lip lacquer because I really don't like lip lacquers and I like this. It's just a really pigmented gloss. This is a beautiful girly pinky color. Oh, it's so pretty. So formula wise, it's pigmented. Just said that. So it's pigmented. It is comfortable on the lips. It has a little bit of stick to it, but it's not crazy tacky. It is one of those glosses that if you apply a lot, it's gonna feel heavy on the lips because it's just, you have a lot of product on your lips. So I wouldn't say use a ton, um, but I just think so comfortable on the lips, glossy and beautiful looking on the lips. For being a gloss, it does kind of stay around on your lips for a decent amount of time. Smells really nice, smells like vanilla. So, oh my goodness, I am just like really excited about these glosses. I've had one of these before. I think I have it in Goddess and I really like that color, but I guess I just didn't remember how much I like the formula on it. So yeah, I mean, I hate to mention things that maybe aren't available that you can still get, but I wanted to mention it to you because if this set is still around, it's an awesome deal. If not, I just really, really like this formula and I would highly recommend checking out these glosses because this is really, really good. And I do know that Lorac sometimes does these sort of sets like around the holidays and various times of the year. So you can get these sort of like good deal sets throughout the year. So anywho, that was my lip favorite for the week. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.